could Airbus be building a brand new aircraft? Could it be the aircraft that finally challenges the Boeing 737-8 and even parts of the A320neo market? Well, let's break it all down in today's video. So far, the Airbus A220 family consists of two variants, the A220-100 and the A220-300. But Airbus has hinted at the development of a third stretched version, the A220-500. This variant would be a longer version of the A220-300, potentially seating 106 to 170 passengers in a typical two-class configuration and up to 208 high-density layout. The Dash 500 would maintain the A220 strengths, like its composite heavy airframe, state-of-the-art aerodynamics, and fuel-efficient Pratt & Whitney P5-1500G gear turbofan engines while adding more seats and range to directly compete with larger single-aisle jets. While Airbus hasn't confirmed the exact specs, industry analysts and leaked internal studies point to some likely characteristics. The length is estimated to be around 43.5 to 44.5 meters, longer than the A220-300's 38.7 meters. The aircraft is expected to seat 160 passengers in standard dual class, with possibly 200 in an all economy configuration. The range is expected to be 3,500 to 3,700 nautical miles, slightly less than the A220-300's 3,900 nautical mile range, but depending on the payload. The engines are the same PW-1500G turbofans, though a possible thrust bump may be needed, and the maximum takeoff weight is estimated to be around 72 tons, higher than the 70.9 tons of the Dash 300 variant. The stretch would involve structural reinforcements, especially on the landing gear and wing box, to handle the increased loads. Cabin systems would likely stay the same, keeping the A220 standout to three seating layout and large windows. Airlines have been begging for the A220-500 though. Air France, Breeds Airways, and even Delta have expressed interest. Why? because the Dash 500 could give them lower cost per seat mile than the A320neo or 737-8, perfect fit for medium haul routes with thinner demand, and an aircraft with the comfort of a wide body and a narrow body form. With production costs going down and Airbus's assembly line in mobile Alabama ramping up, the A220-500 could be a cost-effective solution for airlines needing flexibility between regional routes. But Airbus faces a challenge, cannibalization. The A220 might eat into A320neo sales, which is a major profit center for Airbus. So timing its launch is a delicate balancing act. So when will we see the A220-500? While Airbus hasn't officially launched it yet, executives have acknowledged serious internal discussions. Rumors suggest an announcement could come in late 2025, with entry into service around 2028 through 2029, lining up with engine availability and production ramp up. Expect the aircraft to debut with the airline like Air France or Delta, who already operate large A220 fleets and could easily absorb the stretch variant into their networks. The A220-500 could be a true game changer, not just for Airbus, but for the entire narrow-body market. So what do you think? Should Airbus launch the Dash 500 variant, or will it risk too much overlap with the A320neo? Let us know in the comment section below.